welcome back to Learn Golf with Cassie, where we teach you drills and skills and how to hit the ball. And, well, Coach Dad teaches me, and then I teach you, and then we learn together. So today we're going to be doing gapping, which is what I'm going to tell you later. So we just want you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's get into the video. Okay, thanks. Welcome back to um, Learn Golf with Cassie. So as Cassie said, we're going to be working out the gaps in our distances. So basically what gapping is, is working out how far each club hits it at different swing distances. So in the last video, Cassie was doing, she was working on how to judge the distance of her pitching wedges and we're going to continue doing that but in the first way she did which is um, different lengths of swing 7.30 9 o'clock 10.30 to see the distance that they go so she's going to do that today with her sand wedge and also her 9 iron and then we'll see we're going to take 10 videos of her hitting her 7.30 swing um, and see the average um, distance she hits that. Then we're going to do the same with the 9 o'clock and then the 10.30 and then we're going to do that with the other club and we'll see the differences in the gaps between her distances. Okay, so we'll do that slow, um, sorry, fast motion so you don't have to watch all of it one by one but we'll give you the results after we've finished. Okay, so over to Cassie. So she started with her 9 iron here and this is her 7.30 swing. She's taken and 10 shots with uh, this club and we'll give the results near the end she switched to the uh, 9 o'clock swing, now you can see her swings extended further than it was earlier um, and she's getting pretty good contact by now and here now you can see the fuller swing, this is the 10.30 um, position the um, thing we found with doing this drill is trying to keep the same tempo with every shot is what is quite difficult. So we've gone down to the sandwich now to see the differences again. You can see me, I'm marking every single shot, the distance is flown. This is the 7.30 swing at the moment. And then with the sandwich we've got the 9, th nine o'clock swing. And she play was playing some really, really nice shots today. And then finally the sandwich with the 10.30 swing, so it's almost a full swing. But the thing that we had to work with was making sure that she didn't try and do a full swing where she's trying to maximize, maximize club head speed. Okay, so you've just seen Cassie hit um, about 60 shots there on time-lapse video, so you can see just the, the practice. Um, obviously not every shot with every club um, was perfect, so we took um, you could see me notating every shot and the distances and um, the averages that we um, got for Cassie for her 9 iron with the 7.30 swing was 25 yards for the 9 o'clock swing 35 yards and for the 10.30 swing 50 yards and for the sand wedge at 7.30 swing she was averaging 20 uh, for the 9 o'clock 30 yards and the 10.30 swing 40 yards so her gapping is 20 yards is 7.30 sand wedge 25 yards is 7.30 9 iron 30 yards would be her 9 o'clock sand wedge 35 yards would be her 9 o'clock 9 iron 40 yards would be her 10.30 sand wedge and 50 yards would be her 10.30, So now she's got gaps, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 and 50 and she's got a, a load of different shots she can play to get the right distances and that's what we mean by gapping. So now we're going to video Cassie playing one or two shots of each um, club at the different swing um, ratios to see if she can play those shots under pressure when she's only got one shot to do it. Okay, back to Cassie. So now, Coach Dad is going to call out the distances I'm going to do, and I'm either going to use the sandwich 
or in my nine iron to hit it as close as possible. So okay, the first one, Cassie, will be 20 yards. So what's the club? Sandwich. Sandwich. What's the swing you're going to hit? Seven thirty was our twenty yard shot. That was a very nice shot. That was actually about thirty. Okay, twenty five yards. What's your club? Sandwich. No, we gapped it as your 9 iron 7.30. So you need to learn your own gaps and remember which club is how much. Okay, that was more like 35. Okay, so we're going to go to the next club which is distance is going to be um, 35 yards. I'm going to go with sandwich nine. Um, so, yeah, sandwich should be 30 yards. Go 30 yards. Thirty-five yards. So that one was a little bit short, but quite a nice strike. Thirty-five yards is which club? Nine. And what's the swing? Nine o'clock. Okay, not too bad. A little bit thick. What was that? That was about right. Okay. Now we're going to go forty yards. What is it? I don't know. It was 40 yards was Sam Wedge 1030 swing. Oh, 10:30. Nailed it, perfect. And 50 yards. Nine with a 10:30. Nine with a 10:30. That's the shot. That's a good shot. 48 yards. Well done. So, thank you for watching this video. Click the thumbs up button. I know I'm doing the thumbs down, but thumbs up. And um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And um, stay tuned for the next video. Bye.